Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to change the oil on a 2020 Chevy Silverado. This is going to be on the 5.3 liter V8. Uh, so before you get started, you're going to need an oil filter. And then the oil you're going to need is going to need to be the 0W20. Um, and you have to make sure it's full synthetic with the Dexos approved Gen 2. has to have that on the container uh, because that is what the uh, little manual that came with the truck says that you need to put in it. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so climbing under the truck, um, luckily it is lifted enough to where you can just climb under. You don't have to jack it up. It makes the job much easier. Um, this is from the, this is the driver's front wheel here. Um, sorry if the angle gets a little goofy, but kind of in the center here you have uh, the oil pan here you have the oil filter and then this is your oil plug and so it will either take a 15 millimeter uh, wrench ratchet here or you can see the star um, it'll take a 40 Torx or uh, T40 um, which is really nice in case you or one of those idiots um, one of those idiot technicians um, strips this out um you still have that t which is super nice so uh there are eight quarts in there so there's a couple of ways you can go about it um so you need to make sure that you have an oil pan that will hold eight quarts in it um it is going to come out really fast and at pretty high pressure so if your oil pan is just going to overflow and spill oil everywhere what you can do is you can just loosen it slightly um, to where it drips out and basically just let it drip out for like half an hour or whatever, you know, 15, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, um, and let the oil drip out until it's all empty and you can take the plug off. Um, or, um, you can just take it all off and let it flow out really quick, but try to make sure that you have an oil pan that will actually hold all of that and be able to drain all of it really quick. Um, otherwise it's going to go everywhere. So go ahead and loosen this up, um, and take that out and either slightly loosen it so it drips out or take it completely out and let it completely flow out really quick so eventually it will come down to just a drip out of there um and honestly that could go for like eight hours if you let it it's just going to continue to drip like that um i do have to admit really good design i haven't seen this before in any vehicle um see how it has the little rubber lip there and then on the uh sorry they, you can kind of see it there you go a little lip here indentation for it um that looks like a pretty good design to me for the oil plug onto um right there on and uh with that little oil or the the rubber lip there uh, seems to seal together pretty good which is really nice um so essentially you know you'll clean up the oil plug um that's just going to continue to drip and so um, you know, take a paper towel, wipe that as best as you can, but it's just going to keep dripping and then put the oil plug back in. Um, and basically you don't want to over tighten it. You really do not want to strip this because that is a giant job to get this oil pan off if you do strip it. Um, so go ahead and tighten it back to about the tightness when you took it off, which wasn't as tight as I was anticipating. Um, and I think it's because of this new oil ring design there. Um, so once you put that oil plug back on, you're going to take the oil filter off. Now this is the very first oil change I've done on this truck. Um, so I'll be taking this original oil filter off, which honestly doesn't even look like that good of quality. I get a lot of complaints about um, the type of oil I use and the oil filter, but I mean this is from the factory. It doesn't even look that nice. Um, so anyways, you put the oil plug back in and then take off this oil filter next. So as I was cleaning that off, um, that little piece of rubber actually comes off. So if you don't have that, you need to check your oil pan here where you drain the oil um, for that little piece of rubber. So make sure you put that back on as you're putting the oil plug back in. Now, if this is the first oil change you're doing on this truck, there's a good chance you're gonna need an oil filter wrench. This is an adjustable one and it's working well for me um, because they pretty sure they put this on by a machine and then it doesn't have any kind of grip. And there's that joint right there that I kept hitting my knuckle on. Um, so you aren't gonna have a lot of room here, especially if this was put on by a machine or if it doesn't have grip like that, 
you're most likely going to need one of these wrenches. I got an adjustable one. They're like 10 bucks. And basically, you just put it on here and crank it over. It tightens up as you crank until you get that oil filter off. When you get that oil filter off, quite a bit of oil comes out with it. So I just slowly unscrewed it and let it drip a bunch of it off into the pan. Make sure you keep that oil pan underneath to catch any oil that comes down. Then you're going to go ahead and clean it all up next. Now here's a quick little tip when you're putting on oil filters. Um, anytime you take that old one off, occasionally this little rubber ring here will decide to stay on the vehicle instead of coming with the oil filter. So you need to make sure, sorry about that, that you get that old oil or that old rubber ring off that it comes with it. What I like to do to make sure that this goes on well and creates a really good seal is I'll dip my finger in the old oil and just put a nice thin layer or film across this new rubber ring uh, so that it makes a really tight seal on there. It also helps with it not sticking the next time you pull this off. Now the trick when you have this filter on um, for tightening it is you want to tighten it all the way till about about right there, right when it starts to catch, becomes harder to tighten. Now you're gonna turn it three fourths a turn past this point. So I always just turn it one fourth at a time like that. There's one fourth, and like I said, it's really hard to get a good, good grip on this. So there's two fourths, and then right about there is three fourths. So you wanna turn it about three fourths past that hand tight when it just starts to catch. Um, is how high, tight you need to put on an oil filter. So the next is going to be refilling the oil. If you haven't already, make sure that your uh, oil plug is tightened correctly and your oil filter is tightened. Here is where you're going to be putting the oil in. And then this yellow bar is your oil dipstick. Um, so, since it's going to be 8 quarts, I bought two 5 quart gal uh, jugs. I'll just dump five quarts in, then I'll need to measure out the next three as I pour it in there. So go ahead and do that next. Now, one of the last things you need to do is you need to run the engine to get the oil through um, so that you can check it to make sure that it's at the proper level. Turn this down, sorry about that. Shows the hood is open, because I'm gonna go check it. And you'll need to reset the engine oil life. So to do that, you'll toggle through here to the right, and then you'll toggle down to the engine life. You'll just scroll down using this. Now, um, I must have skipped it. There it is. So you'll just hold the button in to reset it, and it resets it back to 100%. So as you can see, this was my first oil change. How these work are rather than having it set at a uh, set mileage interval or time interval like you used to have on you know 3,000 miles or three months, whichever came first. In these new Silverados, they have an oil life system set up based upon how you drive. So how hard you drive, how hard you hit the gas, um, whether you're doing a ton of highway miles or a ton of city miles, changes how soon you need to change the oil on this vehicle so I did a ton of highway miles I got almost 7,000 miles out of the vehicle before I needed to change the oil um, you might not have that if you do a ton of city driving and you're constantly punching on the gas and everything you might only get 3,000 miles if you're super easy on it you do nothing but highway you might be able to get something like 8,000 miles out of it before you need to change the oil so Always make sure that you check that oil life. It's gonna pop up as a notification as it goes down to zero. Um, and make sure that you reset it every time that you change the oil. Now, at this point, since it's already been running for a few seconds, there's no oil lights on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the engine off and I am gonna go check on that yellow dipstick and make sure that the oil is in an appropriate level. Anyways, this is how you change the oil on a 2020 Chevy Silverado. This is the 5.3 liter V8. So hopefully this was helpful and thanks for watching.